Hello, and welcome to another Edison TV executive interview. I'm Aaron Atkar, healthcare analyst here at Edison, and today we're joined by Antti Valanta, chief exec of Herantis Pharma. Today, we're going to be digging into the company's phase 1B trial results, which marks an important step closer for lead assets, HER096, towards disease modification for Parkinson's disease. So welcome, Antti. Thank you. So to get straight into it, could you outline for us the key takeaways from the phase 1B trial results? Yeah, so uh, phase 1B trial was the first one where we uh, uh, treated um, Parkinson's patients with HER096. And uh, the results uh, overall were very much in line what we expected from the from the trial. So on the safety side, uh, as expected, we didn't see any uh, systemic uh, safety issues. Um, the main uh, issue related to the uh, treatment was uh, uh, mild and... Uh, and transient injection site uh, um, uh, observations that is uh, according to what we have seen already earlier in earlier studies. So uh, safety tolerability, uh, great results. Uh, then we also had uh, pharmacokinetics, and there, of course, the main objective was to um, understand better the behavior of HER96, especially in CNS, uh, as measuring from the cerebrospinal fluid and and again, um, the behavior was very much uh, aligned with our expectations. So we were able to demonstrate that the maximum concentration of HER96 in CNS reaches the same levels that we have um, observed to be optimally optimal ones uh, in the in the preclinical studies, uh, and that was um, a similar result for the total exposure. So so again, very much aligned with our expectations and and really uh, supporting our um, uh, to move the program towards the uh, phase two efficacy trials. Fantastic. So we understand that more detailed biomarker data are anticipated before the end of the year. So what further insights can we expect from this? Yeah, you know, on the biomarker side, um, the, the main um, purpose is to demonstrate the, the, um, that we have been started the biological response uh, to the uh, treatment. So... Um, studying from uh, both CSF and, and plasma uh, to show that we have affected the target biology and we have, uh, in a way, initiated the cascade that hopefully eventually is, is uh, translated into um, clinical benefit. Excellent. So could you update us now perhaps on how these trial results play into your plans for a partnership, um, partnership opportunities in Parkinson's disease? Yeah, so of course, um, being able to first of all conduct the studies according to the preset timelines, as we have done throughout the HER ninety six development, it, uh, it's a very important sign for the for the pharma collaboration. Um, of course, um, good safety data, uh, expected PK gives a great foundation for phase two and for uh, partnerships, and uh, of course, then uh, the biomarker data that would potentially show the first signs of biological res response to the treatment would also be, uh, in a way, um, uh, helping us in, 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 uh, in, in these discussions. But overall, we are really happy and we already have seen that there is a great interest among the pharma industry to, to continue the dialogue with us. And as, as mentioned earlier, the uh, objective of the companies is uh, um, to have even a, a, a partnership agreement before the phase two efficacy trial. But that's, of course, something that to be seen um, during the next uh, half a year or so. OK, so as a recap now, could you perhaps briefly summarize the mechanism of action of HER96 and remind us of the market opportunity for a disease modifier? Yeah, so uh, HER96 has a very unique uh, mechanism of action. So currently, no other companies addressing the same biology as us who are in, in clinical development. And our target is um, uh, a pathway called unfolded protein response uh, pathway uh, in, the, in, the, in the neurons. So basically, we are addressing the protein, protein balance in the cells and cell stress. And this is very much linked also to the alpha-synuclein pathology. And thereby, we can, in a way, um, regenerate the, the activity of the, the um, neurons that are um, 
degenerating, so they are losing their uh, functional phenotype. We can bring them back to to functionally, uh, fully functional um, uh, neurons, and at the same time, we are addressing the same um, uh, pathway in the glial cells. So we are also addressing the neuroinflammation. So we are actually hitting quite broadly uh, the the basic. Um, uh, pathological mechanism uh, uh, behind the, the Parkinson's disease. And if you look at the, the market opportunity, as we all know currently, there are no disease-modifying therapies um, on the market. The, the, the pharmaceutical market size for Parkinson's disease symptomatic uh, therapies are currently like between five to six billion US dollars. And it's expected to grow at least up to 13 billion until um, 2034. And of course, we believe that uh, Herantis is in the forefront of the development, in, both in terms of timing, but also in terms of the mechanism of action. So how broadly we can actually address the pathology. There are other um, other companies developing disease-modifying therapies, but we believe that we have a very clear competitive edge uh, in what we are doing. So uh, we believe that once we have been able to show the disease modifying effect, there is a like huge market opportunity uh, in, in Parkinson's disease for, for her 96. Okay, so that sounds super exciting for, for Parkinson's disease. But looking beyond that, could you perhaps elaborate on how the mechanism might have applicability to other indications, say beyond Parkinson's? Yes, that's a very important question as well. So that the uh, target mechanism unfolded protein response pathway uh, and the imbalance there is, is by no means specific for Parkinson's disease. And this is actually shared with many other neurodegenerative diseases like ALS and Alzheimer's. And there is actually already um, scientific literature available for the, uh, for the uh, CDNF, so the uh, neurotrophic factor uh, from which we derived her 096 in these indications. But similarly, the proteostasis and, and uh, protein balance is very important in other indications as well. So we believe that we have also great opportunities beyond uh, only CMS. And uh, we, of course, believe that once we have uh, shown uh, efficacy in, in Parkinson's disease, we can uh, then really have resources to address these other indications which might even be like bigger um, commercial opportunities than Parkinson's, that itself is already a huge opportunity for us. Amazing. So look, we're really excited to follow the progress to come. And um, before we wrap up, I wonder if you could just summarize the most important next steps for Herantis at this stage. Yeah, so of course, um, finalizing the phase 1b uh, data analysis to have the, the uh, biomarker data is on the short term. Uh, of course, on the longer term, uh, preparations for a phase two efficacy trial is, is the key. And in addition to that, of course, we need to write, uh, find the right resources to run the phase uh, two efficacy trial. And that, of course, includes um, progressing with the partnering discussions. Uh, of course, we are also uh, looking at potentially uh, a fundraise. But then we are looking at uh, um, soft financing opportunities like EU and then, of course, we continue the dialogue uh, with, the, with the leading patient organizations who already have, have supported us, so the Michael J. Fox Foundation and, and Parkinson's UK. And I'm really convinced that we will have a, a very good package um, at some point of time um, during uh, next spring that, that create, provides us the opportunity to launch the Phase uh, 2 program towards the end of uh, next year. And that's, of course, would put us in a very good position as there are not too many companies doing a serious like uh, phase two efficacy trial in, in Parkinson's disease, disease modification. So so we are really looking forward to, to be in that position next year. Fantastic. Well, that brings the interview for today to a close. But if our audience would like to learn more, please refer to the Edison website where we have our research on Herantis freely accessible. Antti, thanks very much for taking the time to speak today. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>